you like uh, four cups of coffee? Yeah. Like 400 milligrams of caffeine. I think like a cup of coffee is, coffee is like 100. Oh, it only it's only says 80 milligrams. Ah. I'm crazy. All right. Wild. Allahu Akbar, retards. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to the show. Allahu Akbar, Benjamin. Allahu Akbar. That's your new soy face is praying to Mecca at the start of every show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, Dean Norris's rib shack. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get fu- go me. I'm going to get fucked up and do some intel and try and find him and I'll come back and tell you tell you the what, barbecue like, place in Temecula. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like it's called like the great shady retard in or something. And, right. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even name it after like Breaking Bad or no, anything. No, it has nothing to do with Breaking Bad. It's just like the old Smokey's cabin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uncle, Uncle Piggy's fuck hut. <laughs> come on down and get some chocolate ribs. I want to go get fucked up with Dean Norris. I, I want to get fucked up in general. I want to I want to go there and be like <laughs> <laughs> You keep saying that every week. Yeah. You're always like, you know what would be a great sketch is if we all got drunk. <laughs> And then drove <laughs> into my house. <laughs> He's like, I got a great idea for the live stream. Uh, I'm gonna, you on the next live stream, you're going to be like, if somebody donates 50 bucks, I will DoorDash crack to the house. Yeah, that's fair. And just smoke it like Hunter Biden. I'm white knuckling it right now. Yeah, you're not doing good. You're. Uh, I'm actually very happy. That's how bad so, you're doing. So here's, you think you're here's really what's happy. weird. I was really depressed for like maybe three weeks and mm-hmm. I lifted myself out of it listening to a lot of John Prine and sitting in the sun. Yeah. And kind sure. of looking off vaguely where the sun is. And then I, now I felt great and I've been drinking coconut water too. So I'm super hydrated. It's always a new scheme. But, with you. but here's the thing. Devin Costa. <laughs> Every week is a get happy quick it, scheme. It, <laughs> Devin, here's the thing. You're though. a strike it rich with depression guy. <laughs> I found out when I'm depressed, I really want to drink. But then I found mm. out when I feel really, really good, I get manic and I also <laughs> want to drink. <laughs> so I need something to like stay in the middle so that I'm not like white knuckling mm-hmm. so like just, everything. Just do like like 4.2 beers. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. You know how they make joints like weed that's like CBD. really... Like CBD where there's just a little bit of weed. I need to have like a... Like a beer that's like a one percent. Do right, like the beer. Modelo Oros? They're like three point five. They're skinny. They 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 feel like the women cigarettes. I like that. I could drink maybe I drink forty those. of them a night. I drink those when I'm hungover and I'm trying to hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's you call that water. Yeah. That's water to me. That's, that's Gatorade for yeah, me. Yeah, I call it soapy water. <laughs> you put liquid IV in one of those. Yeah. What are they yeah. called? Modelo. It's like Modelo Oro. Yeah. Or something. Ooh, you go, you go, they like, are a delight. Like cucaracha. Like cucaracha. You're, you're, it's for gay cholos. Ooh. You're stirring athletic greens into a Modelo Oro. <laughs> you're going like, I'm like Huberman. This is a salad, baby. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Oh yeah, yeah. They're 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 great. They're the, great. The Modellos, the Modelo Oro. Yeah. yeah, I bet they I, are. I do I like. Bet they are. I do like the idea of you trying to find CBD beer to drink, like walking into. A dispensary like it's a smoke shop and being like, yeah, is there like a like a strain that makes me not want to drive and hit my wife? <laughs> like, is that is that IPA? <laughs> yeah, the indica you piss yourself, sativa you <laughs> shit yourself. Th- that's the difference between the two. Yeah, you're like, I'm looking for like a sharp beer, you know, where mm. I just spray a little bit of diarrhea on my on my diaper I, I wear. I've thought about getting in back into weed. Which I haven't got ventured yeah. into weed in like, I don't know, 13 years or something. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Give yourself schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you, I honestly, were you smoking weed out here at all? Not really. Not really. Sometimes I'd get yeah. really drunk and I would smoke and I would get like the perfect amount of crossed. But if I smoked, the last time I took, uh, I ate a like a weed chocolate bar. Remember when we were living in East Hollywood in that shithole? Yeah, of course I remember. That was mm-hmm. that place sucked ass. Yeah, the place fucking sucked. I hope I Dude, burned it was to like, the ground. It was like we were in a ship surrounded by trans hookers. <laughs> <laughs> we lived, <laughs> dude, we lived in the trans hooker capital of L.A. And you just see it like it was like the mm-hmm. shark and Jaws, yeah. just like Michael Clark Duncan in a wig walking down the street. So you did. You lived in Tangerine. Yeah, pretty literally. Much. Yeah, literally. When I watch Tangerine, I'm like, that's I'm there in the window. You go, mm-hmm. That's oh, me. Oh, I'm getting my dick sucked yeah. by that trans hooker. That's me getting a trans hooker. <laughs> If you went to the gas station on Vermont right there late at night, 
you would have to like it was like a football player in practice when he's running through all those pads mm-hmm. but yeah. it's just it was just like transgender penis <laughs> and you just you got to lower and you just run through them yeah 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 i remember they would say things like uh uh suck dick 15 50 dollars suck dick yeah. Like yeah, as yeah, they're yeah. standing next to the guy who's clearly also on crack who owns the gas station because <laughs> they smoke him out and uh, in ch- exchange of them smoking out the weird vaguely Korean, vaguely Mexican, vaguely Salvadorian guy behind the counter that he lets them stay there and then solicit all the customers so they can suck off people. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a great ecosystem. I know. No, it's, it's, it's like a it's, symbiotic. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like a snail that lives on a shark's back and like cleans <laughs> yeah. the bugs off of it. <laughs> exactly. You're like, oh, they're friends. <laughs> <laughs> they benefit from yeah. one another. Oh, you're like, it's a clownfish and an, an anemone or whatever. It's the same yeah. way we like domesticated dogs. Yeah. You talk about domesticating trans people. I'm talking about <laughs> turning them into women. I'm talking about weird, vaguely Indian guys who own gas stations mm. and transgender hookers. Yes. Yeah. It's like yeah. when a coyote can go hunting with a badger. Yeah. And then when something goes down a hole, a coyote can't go the, down. The badger goes down, sniffs it out. The coyote kills it and then shares the right, food. Right, right, right. There's one Indian guy who got too close to the fire of trans hookers. <laughs> and then slowly. they 20,000 years ago? Yeah, 20,000 years ago. <laughs> and now we have. Them going like, listen, the, the, the customer buy a lot of honey buns, so <laughs> I let them uh, get their uh, weird uh, cheeks clapped uh, in the back, my friend. Yeah, well, we were living over there, and can, um, I, can I say one other thing oh, about yeah, the trans yeah, sure. before I cut you off? Go ahead. It was also very funny because it was right next. We lived across the street from a cafe fifties. Yeah, I remember that. Which is if you oh, if yeah. you're not in L.A., there's like a string of them. They're like fifties themed, like Rocka Billy diners. So you could go in there and, you know, like get a milkshake and be like, oh, I'm listening to Sugar Sugar by the Archies. And then you walk outside and it's like a freak of the 21st century. <laughs> yeah. So it felt like you were in, what's that Brendan Fraser movie, Blast from the Past? It felt like you were doing that. Mm. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. walked out of Bill, a Bill Haley in the Comet show and there was a guy who looked like Ray Lewis being like, I'll suck your fucking dick. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I'll suck your dick till you kill yourself. <laughs> it's a Pleasantville. It's black yeah. and white inside the diner. You walk outside. <laughs> color comes back it, it was people that looked like uh uh it was like wild wild west mm-hmm. you know like weird mech like spider suits and yeah. Stuff. yeah there's people a guy like with his, legs a guy with his entire lower half missing <laughs> in a big a guy s- carrying a head in a jar yeah a, uh, <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> an old southern guy with a bell like a horn coming out of his ear so you can hear Okay, very good. Great job, Gr- Gracie. This is two weeks in a, ro- a row. Literally, you threatening our livelihood, so that's great. Can you reach it, Devin? Yeah, I got it. You stupid, fucked up, retarded dog. Sometimes it is the computer's fault, but then sometimes it's it's Gracie's. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, she you're, rips it out. You're recording on the backup, I'm assuming, of course. Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, this is two weeks in a row where Gracie has literally got her fat ass and pulled the plug out of the goddamn wall. <laughs> Her ass is it's the ice spice ass. Dude, yeah, I don't yeah. even th- I don't even think she walks through it and knocks it out. I think her ass cheeks, her fat retarded ass cheeks grab the wire and then pull it. <laughs> fat retarded ass. Pull it out of the I think Gracie wall. is Ice Spice's mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Grace every morning you feed Gracie the munchkin drink. Or whatever they call it. I think they call it the retard the drink. The retard drink <laughs> at, at Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts. Donuts. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot about the Dunkin' Donuts Ice Spice drink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it was- just drool with sugar. <laughs> They're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's like the little uh, rubber bands that go on top of braces. <laughs> Those are yeah. in there. Full of corn nuts that a middle schooler ate. Yeah, pieces of floss. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, we inject this into Ice Spice's ass every day. <laughs> it's got donut holes floating around in it. Yeah, I remember when we lived in East Hollywood, the, I think the last time I got high I, that I can remember, because I definitely probably smoked when I was insanely fucked up many times. Time I can remember I ate a chocolate bar that had weed in it. Oh, I remember that chocolate bar, yeah. I remember uh, talking to our friend Kevin outside on the porch. Mm-hmm. And I remember, like, he was trying to talk to me about something, and I remember, like, kind of shaking, and I, I remember I said I had to go to bed. And I, uh, uh, can we just kill them? I know. Uh, We're make- they're, they're barking at my pregnant wife. So. <laughs> no, no worries. They're just jumping on my pregnant wife and knocking her they're down. They're just nipping at her belly. <laughs> I kind of, I joked with you the other day, and then, sorry, we'll get back to it. Mm-hmm. I joked with you the other day that um, 
the dogs are like competing on which one needs to get put down when the baby's born. <laughs> they both want to die. Like they both want to die, and they like like th- that's why Gracie's going in and like ripping up everything that looks like a baby to shreds. Yeah, and then kind of staring at you like, please just f- put a rod just in my head. <laughs> <laughs> put it a rod in my brain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I remember going to bed next to my wife who had to wake up at like six in the morning, and I was turned around. And I remember I, I couldn't stop shaking like this. <laughs> mm. From the weed? From the weed. For whatever reason, I was so anxious, I couldn't stop vibrating. Yeah. And I convinced myself at some point in the night that I had blacked out and I got a knife from the kitchen. I had stabbed my wife uh, like 50 oh, yeah. times in the chest and killed her and like cut off her head. Yeah. And I was I was convinced I was laying in a pool of her own blood in the bed and I was covered <laughs> in blood. Okay, just stick to bird watching. <laughs> Yeah, I love you being like, I think I can handle me. <laughs> you are depressed, though, because today you told me you were thinking about knitting your own shirts. <laughs> Not <laughs> knitting. I said sewing. I'm sewing. thinking about getting into... I can't find a damn shirt that I, fits I, the way I want. I got it. I got to tell you, sewing is actually worse somehow. It's way worse. Is that gayer? No, I think knitting's at least like I've heard of people doing yeah, that before. Yeah, they do it to like calm themselves. Yeah. You're going to like have that thing where you're, you're like, what are you going to pay yourself? 25 cents an hour to? <laughs> Yeah, you're going to build your own sweatshop? <laughs> oh, man. Dude, you're going to be walking around looking like Dobby the house elf in the most fucked up <laughs> shirt of all time. But imagine a, oh, you open your closet and everything in your closet is something you made. And it all looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're going to be doing the podcast and you're going to raise your hand and your shirt's going to fall off. <laughs> You're going to be at the bank wearing pants you sewed and your dick and yeah. balls yeah, comes out and you ac- get arrested. I'm going to accidentally like kill myself. Yeah. I'm going to like I'm going to accidentally like create a noose and it gets caught on the door and I kill myself. <laughs> I'm going to create something that constricts me and kills yeah, me. Yeah, you're going to like somehow get sucked into the sewing machine <laughs> and like get sewed into a pair of slacks. It is weird. It's the first step in you becoming like a bohemian like piece of shit. Is mm-hmm. buying a sewing machine <clears throat> and knitting your or sewing your own clothes and stuff, and I've, then it segues from that to like veganism, and then your kids just start resenting you because you're like the guy, you're the dad that only has like you don't have like any fun sodas in the house, mm-hmm. or, you know. Yeah. You're an ingredient household. Yeah, you yeah. become, and then you know, yeah. You start, and you you start. We come over and it because that's the problem is it doesn't stop at the sewing. It just keeps going. It just yeah. keeps going to the and point then, where you're making like shark soup for <laughs> dinner guests. And we come over and you like are seriously like no. So what I've started, I'm not eating my own shit. What I do is I put the shit in a jar <laughs> in the sun, and then the liquid that melts out of the shit, I drink that. <laughs> and we're like, dude, that's eating your shit. You're like, no, 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 no. No, my friend. That's what we call we yeah. call it fart punching. The Tibetan monks used to do it. Yeah, it's close to piss therapy. Yeah. You're getting you're getting clo- dangerously close to being a piss therapy person. <laughs> you could a guy pissing in a wine glass and swirling it mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's an eighty dollar glass of like Merlot. Yeah, you mm-hmm. you cork it to store it for a while. I cork my piss so it gets real musky and like develops a film on top. Mm-hmm. There's a mushroom floating inside of it. Yeah, and you spin. And you go. I'm getting hints of gushers, <laughs> herbal tea, yeah, yeah. Mm. my own shit yeah. from earlier. Inca cola, <laughs> the Peruvian cola. You know, most vitamins aren't absorbed the first time in the body. You got to drink your piss. Right. I yep. like to put black pepper in it for the absorption. Yeah. You know, it's actually wise to drink your piss, even though literally cavemen weren't doing that. <laughs> you know, how you, you know, you shouldn't drink your own piss. Literally, fucking dogs don't drink their own piss. I know. You yeah. retard. I don't even see animals peeing into their mouth ever, or peeing into like a, a an indention in the dirt and no. then drinking it. If if right. a wolf like in a in a pack started drinking its own piss, the older wolf would like snap its neck. Yeah, because it knew it's like this can't spread. Yeah, yeah. he's gonna kill the whole uh, mm-hmm. tribe of wolves. Uh, by the way, a little quick health update. I don't want to make the whole episode about me. I mm. have brain cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Another announcement. Uh, remember I told you guys my dick stopped hurting? Sure. It stopped, we, it we, stopped, had a, huh? we had a big party. <laughs> yeah, we had a huge party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We went, all went down to the local steakhouse. <laughs> we ran up a $5,000 bill because my dick finally didn't we hurt. Went to a, we all put on suits and went to a claim jumper yeah. like we were at a sales conference. <laughs> and we got you a trans hooker. <laughs> <laughs> uh so my dick stopped stinging once I cut out Coke Zero and Zevia. Mm. Uh, the other night, 
I I had a Sprite. Okay. Mm. Full sugar Sprite. I only, but I only drank half of it because it was you, so damn sweet. How'd you even find a full sugar Sprite? Where were you at? Yeah, they're called Starries now, right? Yeah. What do you guys talk? I thought Starry was a product of Pepsi that competes with Sprite. Or I, I am I out of the loop oh, or no. something? <laughs> Wait, am I out of the loop on the, the soda news? I, I, I haven't been to any dunk contests recently, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure yeah. I, that's Sprite what, is Starry now. That's I what I thought is you can only buy Sprite at county fairs now. Yeah. Boys, you've been hoodwinked. That is the brilliant marketing behind Starry. Starry is actually Pepsi's uh, little sister. Oh. That is the competitor with Coca-Cola So it's Sprite. Sierra Mist? I, it's Sierra Mist. And I think it's because Sierra Mist tried to sue a hooker named Sierra Mist, and she won somehow. What? So they had to change their... Or they, they sued an OnlyFans person named Sierra Mist. Ah. And the judge was like, she's got nice titties overruled. And okay. Then, Truly everything is political now. Even if you're just a guy who's really into soda, that's politicized now. Mm. There's like turmoil there's like trouble in paradise oh there's i oh, mean yeah, if yeah. you're mentally retarded there's any type of you're like this is the woke soda i can only drink the racist <laughs> soda yeah <laughs> there's guys in mobile homes googling on their fucking android phone what's the most racist soda so they can drink it well that that soda that that half can of sprite mm-hmm. made my dick sting again mm. hmm. so I, I brought it back into my body and then like I did the actual test you're supposed to do to find out if you're allergic to stuff. I guess I'm allergic in whatever they put in soda. Do you think maybe Here. it was just the bubbles coming out? The bubbles got your dick all I don't know. I, it's, bubbled up? It caused weird inflammation in my body that made my dick sting. Mm. But well, it's all gone now as long as I don't drink soda. Well, if you stay away from all that stuff for a long time, then I guess you'd have a good sample size. That's what like, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless it's just a coincidence. Well, I mean, listen, I don't know how you're drinking this soda. You could, you could be leaving out a lot of details here. You know, yeah. no one, I'm, no one's sure what you're doing here. You could be <laughs> 10 hours a day. <laughs> to be honest, your you... pregnant wife's like fucking working in a coal mine somewhere. <laughs> you're just wandering around the house like a psychopath. Yeah. Katie's in a Siberian <laughs> mine. You're fucking dunking your balls and Sprite all yeah. day. <laughs> like Sprite makes my dick good. Yeah. God damn it. Fucking holding sparrows on your fingers <laughs> as you type away on an old fucking Japanese typewriter. Yeah. You're the only person who went to nature and got worse somehow. <laughs> 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 oh man i have been having the thought that i need to go out more probably yeah our friend connor's back in town i need to go mm-hmm. hang out with connor with, hang out with mm-hmm. connor start being friends with people yeah you know? exactly no it's good start it's, drinking it's definitely uh i kind of thought that maybe i should be a guy who like goes to a place and then just like starts to try to make it's so hard to organically make friends with people as you get older but i'm like should i just like go to a place and like try to make friends with people like old guys or something like you go hang out at like a bar and like you make friends or you go hang out at a golf course and make friends. You should like just start tennis. going to like a black barber shop <laughs> <laughs> and become like a local dude, character. And would, just hang out there. Yeah. Dude, just then. talking and the NBA and pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like an old black dude's really teaching you how to eat yeah. pussy. Yeah. yeah. Katie's like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to our marriage. Just some old black dude like. Hey, Ben, brother man, Shaka Khan or Beyonce? <laughs> Do I still look how I look You right look now? just like how you look and you're yeah. there like, I, uh, uh, Jamal, I've been thinking about sewing my own shirts. And they go, why are you crazy? They go, you crazy ass wife, but we think he retarded. Yeah, his wife drops him off every day because he can't be alone. Yeah, that's been, he good folk, but he retarded. <laughs> Yeah, he's been sucking on a rib bone for about two days. Do you think black people would fuck with me, or do you think they think I'm some corny ass like a retard? I, I, <laughs> what? I, what's so funny? I think here's the thing: if you survive the first two days, I think that's the crucial thing. Oh, it's like prison. It's like yeah. the first two days, like they're gonna hate you so much that they might kill you. I don't know. Yeah, I could but see if that. you get past that, they're like, oh, that's that little, thing. and they like throw quarters at you and make you dance like you're the mascot. I'm imagining if I want to like assimilate within a uh, black community, right? Like, let's say I wake up in a Twilight Zone episode where there's only black people, right? Yeah, oh, it'd oof. be like, uh, what's eating? Ooh, wait, good, sorry, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> cool. What's e- what's eating Gilbert grape soda? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it's only very good. It's it's only black people and Gilbert Grape's mom, <laughs> and it's 
it's her heaven. <laughs> She's like, thank uh, the Lord. Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, I think you'd. I think uh, if you stuck it out, they'd eventually like you. I think so. So too. I kind of know. I think I already. I know you guys think I'm like oblivious to like black culture and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if I had to assimilate into that world, pretty easy. Rule number one: no gay shit. I want to make any jokes about being gay like, or yeah, the, sucking the, dick. The gay jokes don't mm-hmm. fly. Yeah. You'd be. You would be vibrating like Roger Rabbit trying to not do that though. Yeah. 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 It actually would be pretty hard. Actually. So you get that. What's What's rule number two? Rule number two is be racist. Okay. Um, they like honesty. Sure. That's why Patrice respected Ant <laughs> right. on Opie and Anthony. So that's your plan <laughs> to go to a black barber shop and act like Anthony Kumia. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> when he put it that way, Devin, I mean, you put it that Devin, way. let's hear him out. No, I feel like he's <laughs> twisting my words. You're gonna you're gonna walk in with the cell phone pressing record. <laughs> And you're going to have a fucking lavier mic like Britney Spears being like, look at them. They're animals. <laughs> That's you, dude. <sighs> so number two is like, they appreciate like honesty. Like I, I need to go in there. I'm like the damn Chinese are, are you spreading this flu like crazy. Like if I said something like that, then they like that. Maybe. Right? maybe. Uh, maybe. You gotta, I don't know. You'd have to <laughs> you'd eye the situation. Okay, I, I'll fill out the waters on how racist I should be in a black barber mm-hmm. shop. I would yeah. say start closer to the bottom. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say test that work. at the top and work down. I would say maybe start it on a low point. I'd say okay. start showing them who you truly are about a month in. Yeah. <laughs> really gain their trust first. <laughs> Number three, I got to stop dressing so whack. Yeah. Got to get rid of the hokas, even though I got they really bad joint these. problems. They don't and- want these for the otter boxes of shoes. These yeah. fucking, these are what like the, that's the same as the phone covers for dads. Yeah. If that is the, you own your own roofing company of shoes. <laughs> but to be fair, I'm wearing champion socks, which you have to, you can only get these at the Foot Locker. Okay. Mm. That helps a little bit, but that still looks like somebody dressed you. Mm-hmm. It looks like you have a caretaker. Yeah. It looks Those like I'm an invalid. Sh- yeah. Those shoes have definitely stayed tied for a long time. So I can't wear shoes that help out with the... I have really bad foot pain and knee pain because I'm just, so tall. You're just going to have to have foot pain for a while. I can't say I play golf. I got to say that my dad was a basketball coach and I'm super into basketball. So I'm going to have to like watch basketball for two months mm. yeah. before I step foot into a black barber Don't shop. Don't bring up John Morant once. You never do that. <laughs> okay. That's a trap. Yeah. Got it. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, say stuff like Tim Duncan number three all time mm-hmm. something like that and so they're like okay okay should i dress should i dress up like i'm on my i'm like oh i just stopped in here i was on my way to the uh to shoot some hoops <laughs> yeah walk in and go <laughs> i'm dribbling a basketball <laughs> walk in and dribbling a basketball <laughs> and go i'll take a fade <laughs> and then ask them ask them to give you the lines on the side of your head like Dwayne wade yeah, it just keep going uh, like mood and a blunt, y'all. Uh, mood and a blunt. Oh shit. Yeah, drink See, some Hennessy out of a little paper cup. Be yeah. like, y'all got any Henny? <laughs> See, I think this Ooh, is like I'm you, thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the, ah, <laughs> y'all got some Henny for Benny. <laughs> some Henny for Benny, and, they, and you know, so you develop a nickname. They go, we call him Benny Henny. Yeah. yeah. I this, go, yeah, you, you go. You know, it's all about the Benjamins, <laughs> and you go, Nanyahu, that is. Yep. <laughs> Some old black. Guy. Oh, hey, Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> we need the thing is we need to be in Ben's ear, like in practical jokes. Oh, so we can, yeah, like, we can coach him. Through you guys it. are in a van watching from across the street mm-hmm. and coaching me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 because something's gonna come up and you're just gonna need some help. <laughs> oh, because no, you guys are in my ear because I'm gonna get killed yeah. if I say the wrong thing. No, guy. somebody's gonna be like, "You read Jet Magazine?" You're like, "Oh, uh, oh." Uh. <laughs> Devin's like, "It's yeah. um, it featured yeah. black titties in the seventies." Uh, bring up Patrick Mahomes' wife. <laughs> Say that bitch whack. Say that bitch whack, and she's got a polyamory tattoo. <laughs> she ugly ass. She too ugly to be getting another dick. The last time I hung out with a black guy, it was Danny Brown, and I pissed him off. Yeah, and he's the whitest black guy he's ever lived. <laughs> yeah, 
You hugged Danny, Danny Brown got upset at you? Yeah, he was kind of drunk. <clears throat> he was getting like fucking. He was getting really pissed at me. Why? Just because you were just reminding him of. I, I kept reminding him. I think he goes. I know you're. Uh, Who's that guy? He's like, you white ass bitch, Jack. <laughs> he goes, you white as it. You white as it. Ain't it funny? You white as it. Ain't it funny how it happens? <laughs> you the atrocity exhibition, <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, he he kept it. He kept uh, saying something like, uh, he's like, Andrew Tate is. Well, he kept saying the N word. So I'm. Uh, can I say N? Can I say the letter N? Yeah. Because I have to like, because it, it was the... Are you talking adjective. the barbershop or here? Huh? Here. Oh, yeah. Here, well, here in this here in this safe space right now. If you go to the barbershop, say N. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up, my N? <laughs> D- uh, Danny Brown kept saying like, uh, he kept going, Andrew Tate is what people don't, why people hate him is because he's, he's a, he's an N. Mm. And I was like, I don't think that's why people don't like him he's like well why don't you not like him? i'm like i don't hate him but i just think he's a grifter like everybody all these all these guys they're all they all like it's all to make like money and it's all about their it's very carefully calculated public perception of themselves and, and he was just like they don't actually care about people yeah. and and he was like that's right you're being he kept saying like i know who you are you're one of these hassan piker types that's what he kept saying oh right. interesting and i think he may have been so fucked up he thought i was hassan at some point so I just sort of stopped. He was like drunk. To him. He was very fucked yeah. up. He asked yeah. you to suck his dick at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Watch your gummy, <laughs> gummy bitch." He thought you were a crackhead in Detroit. He's like, "Take them shits out your mouth and gummy." <laughs> I'll give you a fucking cheeseburger, man. <laughs> <laughs> then help me sell this motherfucking scrap metal. <laughs> So if I can't even win that guy over, I think I might be fucked. I, he seems like he's easy to win over, but if he yeah. was fucked up, you just make people angry. I mean, look at you. I mean, you, the yeah, corner of pants and the fuck, you, Yeah, you know, he probably saw you like walk over and grab somebody a water bottle, and he's like, "What's with that motherfucker's posture?" <laughs> He kept calling me Hassan Piker. Hassan Piker. I was like, I'm like, I'm not even a left. I don't even know what. I'm like, that guy sucks. That is hilarious. Sucks ass. You're like, Danny, you're getting it all wrong. I'm a fucking racist. <laughs> like, I'm not like him at all. <laughs> I hate you, <laughs> and I don't even know who you are. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Interesting. But, uh, he's uh. So I did. The, so that was you know. But like, you know, you're not gonna hit every ball you swing at. Yeah. You know what I mean? I right. struck out with right. Danny Brown. You That's kept, fine. You kept calling him Chris Brown. That's why I got mad. <laughs> <laughs> At what point I really fucked up because he started quoting. Uh, he goes, "Have you ever?" He was like swirling his cup. He goes, "Have you ever read?" Uh, who's the guy that wrote the books uh, that Chappelle quotes? Iceberg and, Slim. Well, no, the actual writer. That's it's Iceberg Slim. Iceberg Slim. Yeah. I, I think he had a real name though, right? Uh, the Reginald Van Johnson I don't know I don't know he said like his actual name or whatever sure and I was like I don't know what that is and he was like that's really fucked up and then I go oh it's the Iceberg Slim guy and he goes yeah and I go oh I've never read his books are they actually good he's like no he's actually a really bad writer and I was like okay well (laughs) I I don't even know what argument we're having so he was he was but he quoted him and he he thought it was fucked up I hadn't read his work and then then he he says he's bad and he goes no but he's actually a really bad writer was he being facetious no no he was being he was being I think he was being legitimate unless he was arguing with a fractal and a shape in front of him like it wasn't even like (laughs) it wasn't even me he thought he he might have been so fucked up he thought he was like in the comment section of a Hassan Piker Twitch stream was he really high and drunk yeah he was really fucked up okay can I I, I, by the way I really like him I love Danny Brown I think he's hilarious and he was one of my favorite rappers I'm a fan of anyone who thinks I suck ass. <laughs> yeah, By the honestly, way. it's very endearing story. <laughs> I I have a theory which I th- I think is from what you've told me the story before, I think Danny Brown is one of those guys who has fun in a room full of white people using being black as like a hostage situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's like his he, John Q. No, we've literally yeah, he's like he's like, say the fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> like holding a gun to your head. No, I literally think he and we've known people like this like they walk into like a group of like they're normally around scared comedy white people and they walk in they go uh they go iceberg slim you like him and then you go yeah he goes he sucks <laughs> right <it's laughs> what a, do you think about that cracker yeah, I, go, it's a trap. I, I think he sucks too and you're like oh you do mm-hmm. oh, why so you were lying you thought i would like him because i'm black <laughs> yeah 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 and real i've been in this situation before i did not get out of it because i had immediately had a panic attack when uh, Sam J did this to me one time. <laughs> right. 
I had the thought, don't say the name. I was like, ah, fuck yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to bleep it? No. no who okay. Cares? Yeah, cares? yeah. Love Sam. It was a cracker yeah. trap. Yeah. <laughs> it was a cracker <laughs> trap. And really, your only way out of it is to go, I am very racist. <laughs> <laughs> and there's because there's no say you have to like pull your own grenade, yeah. show that you're crazy. Yeah. And they're like, oh, this guy, I can't even fuck with him you know the power's gone one time we were at the uh, improv and we saw this like white comic on the stool have i told this story before i don't what, know he was at the bar and then there was another lady like a famous uh, black woman and then another uh, famous black guy and they were at the bar they're both comics right i'm not gonna name anyone in this story sure. and the other guy was like like a a white guy who's like kind of a open micer type of guy but he's like friends with all those people because he's he's a super big cuck yeah. And they're woke, right? So they're all in the cuck club and they all cuck each other. And he's sitting at the bar and he's kind of like, they're not paying attention to him. And then the two black people start talking about how they, how much they love uh, 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 do the right thing. And like me and my friend saw him almost fall, <laughs> literally fall out of his stool. And he goes, I love do the right thing. He like literally almost ate right. shit. Trying to say how much he loves Spike right. Lee. Getting, <laughs> getting too excited. Bursting. He goes, when that cop calls a Puerto Rican up. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to go burn down a pizza store right now? Yeah, he goes, I'll go burn down a pizza shop. Personally, I think he did do the right thing. Fuck pizza. <laughs> Fuck Danny Aiello. He doesn't even get <laughs> No, he doesn't get the point. <laughs> Fuck the Italians. Yeah, <laughs> Fuck Italian people. <laughs> Down with Italians. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah. More like do the alt right thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, very good. That's man. what I'm talking about. By the way, they got trouble in paradise over there. I'm telling you, Lent. Huh? <laughs> what, the alt right? The alt right. There's a lot of infighting right now over pedophilia <laughs> and grooming. A <laughs> lot, lot of infighting right now. Let me tell you, they're at a war. <laughs> I can pull up the clips if you want me yeah, to, but then happening? this is going to be a Patreon episode. <laughs> for sure. Well, if I pull it up. You know what? I'm liking mm. this one so much. It's kind of, I feel like this could be public. Yeah. You know? yeah. You know. I'm not going to pull it up then, but there's a <laughs> lot of fighting about grooming. Uh, a lot of alt-right people like Nick Fuentes are pro saying it's not bad to groom someone mm. because why would you want a woman <clears throat> who's had sex with a lot of men? It would be better to find a, a girl who's young and make sure that she's a virgin by the time right. you. Yeah, like, which is just like you're bad at fucking, you know. Yeah, you have to raise a pussy. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Yeah. yeah, you have to grow a pussy. You have to grow your, it like yeah. a chia pet. You have, yeah. to, yes. you have to put a pussy in a terrarium, mm. little plastic over it with water. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. that big of a fucking loser. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I'm not gonna play any clips. But I mean, but also I don't. I don't like playing clips of like uh, you know all this shit. I know uh, you know some people might think Fuentes is cool or whatever, but he's a fucking retard and a and a mm -hmm. grifter. Like yeah, I don't know. Anything yeah, about they're it. all. I, I, don't, I don't pay attention. Some retarded kid. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, could, it's just a retarded kid. Can I basically. can I say more about the black hostage situation? Absolutely, because I've been in a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, been, you do actually have your. Yeah. I've, I've stumbled into quite a few. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had front row seats in a couple. Front row seats to a really vicious one. <laughs> that was that was brutal. And about, I didn't help. You talking about no. the date uh, you were on with that black lady? No, I mean, there's. Have, I've talked about We've that talked one, about, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That was not a black hostage. Issue. That was a black terrorist. She was taking both <laughs> of us down. Also, she went to Harvard, so whatever. I'm gonna go down to the strikes right now in Hollywood to see if I can find her. Mm. Well, I think she went crazy and threw herself into the ocean, so you probably won't. <laughs> well, if I find her, I'm gonna do that Toby Keith thing. Like, how do you like me now? <laughs> now that I'm Li making living in your podcast app, how yeah. do you like me now? How do you like me now? Making the money I would have made if I never started comedy. <laughs> Three years ago, <laughs> at 30 years old. <laughs> How do you like me now? <laughs> now that I say I'm gay. <laughs> now I make content and it's kind of a living wage. <laughs> No, I had I had one where I I don't want to say any names. We were at the improv one time. It was you, me, McNutt, and I think Ben might have been there. Ben was like in the in a corner drinking. Ben was in a corner making the drink from the master. Yeah, out of like jet jet fuel. <laughs> ben was ben, <laughs> ben was holding orange juice in front of the sun, hoping it ferments. 
Uh, remember when I used to carry a, a handle of whiskey on me in that big trench coat I had? Mm-hmm. Like it was like the Columbine guy yeah. where he pulls all the shotguns out of his pants. Yeah. But yeah. I had, yeah. I had like, yeah, but I had you like were, 160 beers on me. That yeah. like, pull- <laughs> you, were, you were Columbine, but you were threatening to unload your personality on yeah. everyone. <laughs> you were like Duff Man. <laughs> Duff Man. <laughs> Duff Man is giving a cry for help. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but we were, we were at the improv, and I, I won't say any names, but I, w- I walked up to you, like you and Jack and somebody else, and there's like a comic who looks like Norbert's wife, but she's actually the Nutty Professor's wife, <laughs> and I confused her with another comic. Oh, no. Who had, was also in town, and we had just seen it at a show. Who we had just seen it at a show, and I was like, I was like, I wasn't even trying to be mean. I was just like, oh, I saw you at the satellite. You were great. And then she's like, oh, I didn't perform at the satellite. And then I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and I'm standing there like the like Jack Nicholson from Anger Management gif where I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. oh, this is not going to go well. No, not going to go well. And then I was like, anyway. Good night, everybody. And I just walked outside because I do it. And I started chain smoking cigarettes. And the way the improv is built, there's this big wall into the bar. So I could just watch you and Connor get in a fight with three black comics who were bigger than us about whether or not I was yeah, racist. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was like literally just defending you. Like, he's not right. Like, which no. Made it, which, which made, made it, worse. it worse. Yeah. And uh, it was like so funny because I, I knew they were arguing about me, but I couldn't tell what they were saying. And then at one point, like one of the black comments, I just saw him like turn to me, just be like, racist motherfucker. And then like <laughs> turn back around and I did it again. <laughs> and I was chain smoking. And then at one point, the, the black comic, I got confused with Norbert's wife, walked outside <laughs> and <laughs> was like, you confused me with this other comic. I was like, and I, I did say, I go, yeah, I'm very racist. <laughs> <laughs> and then she tried to fuck me later that night. So. <laughs> she, she tried to we hung out with her the rest of the yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, it was all bullshit. It was just to make you uncomfortable. No, of yeah. course. It, but in the, in the moment, I'm I'm 26 and I'm having a panic attack because I, I don't yeah. I don't know how. You know, as a, like a grown man, I'd be like, "Oh, who gives a f- like a shit?" You right, know, right? But I, I was still in a state where I could be held hostage with that. I've been accused of being racist and homophobic less doing this show than I was in 2016. Yeah. Just among comedians, that is true. Like I got accused of being racist constantly, mm-hmm. as did you, I guess. And now no one. Now I have a this. No, now I do yeah, this no show, one, and no one calls the me. The comments never say anything about you being <laughs> racist. <laughs> But they don't. They mean it ironically. They, are fans. Oh, yeah. they know. Mm-hmm. They right. know it's all a big. Yeah. They know it's all a goo. You, you look outside. I'm out marching with Hassan Biker and you, Adam Kano. You look outside and see protesters with like flaming torches. You're like, ah, oh, fans. <laughs> Ironic fans. When did you get called? Uh, I mean, I remember the I'm gay shirt. But what else happened with you? Oh, I got called racist all the time. Are you kidding me? No, I know. But I'm just trying to. Like, I don't want to name any like not, not any, people, yeah, but yeah, just yeah. like. Like for bits, like they're on stage. Or? Yeah, and then yeah. Uh, you know, remember that Facebook thing with that guy? Oh right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You remember the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. 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 He was yeah, trying to tell people I called him the N word, and that never Somebody happened. Somebody else took your phone and wrote something. Yeah, but he didn't even call him. The didn't even yeah. say. Didn't even say that. He just he the guy pretended. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, all those guys died in an old mine shaft in 2020. So <laughs> in those guys, <laughs> those guys, they all had their heads chopped off on I, Thunder Mountain. I know. <laughs> They were buried surviving before COVID hit, and then COVID hit, and they turned into like Stephen King's The Stand. You just check, see them on Facebook. They're in like Nevada, wandering through the desert, yeah. like dying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think you, I think you won. In there the were a run. lot of people that we used to know in comedy, and then when the pandemic hit, I would like check Facebook, and they'd be like working on Murder Mountain, like they were like <laughs> sex slaves, and, like being forced to like smuggle weed in their ass cheeks and shit, and. People are putting hoods over their heads and driving yeah. them on ATVs yeah, into the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And they're still doing open mics about it. <laughs> Getting up and being like, so I was chained to a fucking truck and raped for fuel. <laughs> That's fucking weird. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. That was my favorite um, period of COVID is when um, the people who should kill themselves but keep doing comedy started doing comedy they're like for the for like there was like i think there was like three months where like mm. there's like people we know like if they don't do like there's the bull the gun's always an inch away from their forehead and the only thing keeping them from killing themselves is grinding at open mics they're like sharks they have to keep swimming mm, they have to keep bombing or mm, they'll die they'll, yes mm. exactly 
And it was like three months into COVID, those people were finally like, all right, I know about a secret show inside of a, a Macy's full of homeless people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go there and bomb. Yeah. yeah, it looks like fucking like Dead Rising or some shit. Yeah. It's just a, it's a mall of, I know a place where every, everybody's a zombie yeah. and they're all eating each other. Dude, I'm performing at the mall from Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sniper on the roof taking people out. There's a classic uh, uh, a game plan for, for bad comics that like eventually are like, all right, they got to figure something else out. Mm-hmm. And they start making like third grade level art, yeah, online mm-hmm. like stick figures, mm-hmm. and then they start saying like, "I'm selling my art now," <laughs> yeah. like, a- asking people for money for their art, and it's literally like it's popsicle sticks it's, glued it's, together with Elmer's glue. Yes, it's like this one's a cat, mm-hmm. and this one's my mom, and this one's my dad. This one, so I took my shit and put googly eyes on it. <laughs> And all of my fans, I have no fans, but all of my fans go buy it. My content exists to make get made fun of by better open micers. It didn't work out. What were we? We were talking about how uh, it's kind of funny. Like all the people that want to make it in comedy on that level of like like traditionally with the industry, like it's just a bunch of people vying for the opportunity to have billionaires launder money through their existence. Through their existence, yeah, yeah. You're making yourself into a shell corp, but you receive none of the money, really. Yeah, pretty much. Because you still make like sixty thousand a year or whatever. You're yeah, st- you're still like kind of fucked. Yeah, by writing for some show. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. You're yeah. like, I made it, and no one even knows. You know, you write for a show on like AutoZone.com. Right. And no one's no you're, one has any clue. And they're like, how I got a, it. I got a show on uh, CISO, the CISO app. It's called uh, Pedophile. Who's a pedophile? And we all fuck kids on it, and that's the show. <laughs> And they're like, I'm really excited about this opportunity. I pay them, and I also got fucked yeah. by the kids. I know a lot of people, including my my great friend, who uh, they they worked on that Big Mouth show, which was just like you just write pedophile anthems for the DNC. Yeah, or like, it was like six straight years of like you you just write like a, mm. a song where a bunch of like fourth graders are like, and then we suck the cock and titty fuck the teacher and I fucked a kid and yeah, no, it's literally like it's like puberty, it's- puberty. <laughs> Big Mouth, it was like 10 Jews and like two black people that we knew in a writer's room being like, all right, so what if an adult takes the kids to an island and rapes them? <laughs> they go, that's and been then, done before. Yeah, then yeah, Nick Kroll's like, ah, that was our first step. <laughs> Nick Kroll's like, ah, my dad did that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my, my dad my already dad, did that. My he'll, dad, he'll sue us. Yeah, my dad, who's the CIA for rich pedophiles, did that. <laughs> they go, John, what do you think? And then John is snorting baby laxative out of a child's asshole. Oh, John Mulaney. John Mulaney, yeah. He's, yeah. Cut up. he's like, is it cake? And then he cuts a knife through a baby. He's like, it was a cake. It, anyway, I'm going to do some rails. And do some, <laughs> but don't worry. There'll be some really mid comedy about it later. Yeah. <laughs> Now, and then Big Mouth apparently is like our generation Seinfeld. Appar- like, yeah, no. great, awesome. Apparently, There's, people absolutely love it. They're starting awesome. their seventh season. It, it's like a huge show. People love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I um, Megan the Stallion's on it this year. You know, my, shaking her giant freakoid, freakzoid ass. My, you- my best friend worked on it and was a character on it for five years. I could never once tell him I liked it. <laughs> I would just go, "I'm really, I'm happy for you, man." Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was funny. Your your friends would get something, and then you're like, you would kind of kill yourself because you're like, okay, I know I have to watch it because it's really mm-hmm, big for them. Mm-hmm. And you put it off for a couple weeks, and they keep asking you. Like, you finally have to sit down and be like, okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> Make it through two eps. You can say you watched it. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, oh god, this sucks. Ass. I'm so proud sucked. of you, buddy. Yeah. It sucked so bad. So proud of you. And then you send the customer like, hey, watch the show. It was 22 minutes long. <laughs> Great stuff. The whole thing had the, credits. There was sound. I and mean, my TV. It was the screen was on. Yeah, you, yeah, you got you, t- <laughs> you yeah. go. It's, it was it was in 4K. Yeah, yeah. The, the TV was great. You turn into like <laughs> TV did a great job. You turn into Jiminy Glick for your friends, where you're just like, so how do they make the pictures move like that? <laughs> <laughs> how do they make the cartoons move? <laughs> hey guys, with the changing of the seasons, it's time to change up the way you cook. Let go of meal planning, shopping, and food prep, and let HelloFresh take the reins. They send fresh ingredients with easy recipes right to your door, so cooking is a total breeze. 
With 40 recipes and over 100 add-on items to choose from each week, there's always something new to love. Um, we used uh, HelloFresh. They've sent us a couple yeah. of boxes. Um, and the great thing about HelloFresh is they send you these recipes. Devin, you made a great... Uh, I made an incredible like uh, breaded chicken thing. It was delicious wow. with spicy mayonnaise, and I made the veggies and everything. It was, it was incredible. Easy, easy to follow the instructions. I uh, read it is down the hall to the <laughs> left. So it was great for Devin. <laughs> Devin made a great breaded chicken. He's like the movie chef in there, throwing mm-hmm. spices and salt. Yeah. Meanwhile, me, I ripped the box open like a caveman, and I just cooked all the beef, and then I threw the vegetables <laughs> away. But the beef was amazing. Yeah, you could yeah. do like a cow poke on the open range. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I've been I've been eating mostly beef and eggs for about a couple months now. But mm-hmm. HelloFresh helped me do that. I didn't have to go to the grocery store, so I could stay inside and rot a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Nice. And guys, with awesome dinners like honey butter barbecue pork chops and and shroom and Swiss that beef burgers, great. there's truly something everyone in the family will love. So go to HelloFresh.com slash 50Lemon and use code 50Lemon for 50% off. Plus 15% off the next two months. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50Lemon. And use the code 50Lemon for 50% off. Plus 15% off for the next two months. Thank you, HelloFresh. Now back to the show. Thank you, HelloFresh. Thank you, HelloFresh. Hey guys, signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looked fun at first, they probably threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off and month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills. Like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just $15 a month. Mint Mobile sent us a chip to use for our phones. I've been using it. I get great coverage. It's the exact same as my big wireless plan coverage. And it's only $15 a month, which is saving a ton of money. Um, So some things to remember is that Mint Mobile is here to rescue you with premium wireless plans for just $15 a month. Say bye-bye to your big wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overage. Um, All plans come with unlimited talks and text and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. Ditch Big Wireless with Mint Mobile's limited time deal and get premium wireless wireless service for just 15 bucks a month. So to get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com/lemon. That's mintmobile.com/lemon. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com/lemon. Thank you, Mint Mobile. Oh, man. man. Did you guys see this uh, retarded yeah, thing in Las Vegas? Vegas? Thing? What yeah. is it doing? Yeah. This is what you wake up and you see this now. Why is it doing that? Why is it just eyes looking? That's the sphere in Las Vegas. That's just, dude. This is what the whole like skyline is gonna look like in five years. I would, uh, dude. I would love if just like Steven Paddock just shot a bunch of people <laughs> through. <laughs> like you see a big a panel kick out of the side of the egg, and then he just destroys a Jason Aldean concert again. Well, this is they're starting to look at people like they're moths. Mm-hmm. So they go yes. make a giant emoji, and people will flock to it. Yeah, yeah. In three weeks, this 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 face on this bubble is holding a Thai woman, and its eyes are all half closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it, yeah in two years this fear is just going to be saying obey obey <laughs> and people are going to be walking into big traps in front of it it's like a gay hypno hypnotism that's creepy jesus christ i said it the other day but we're a third world country but everyone's wearing who farted t-shirts mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, that's the whole place now pretty much mm-hmm yeah, I went to a hardware store like maybe two weeks ago. Do you know how Ace Hardware stores are independently owned and operated, but you take you they're licensed from? Did you know about this? Oh, do I? Mm-mm. I wasn't aware of this. I walked into one, and this one is maybe the most poorly run one in the entire country. I got to tell you, they all look like that. But go ahead. Okay, this one, every it was first of all, it was a pet food store. And I know that because they took down none of the signs or the shelves from the pet food store. There's pictures of dogs and birds everywhere, signs that say dog food, signs that say like a fish aquariums and all this stuff. They didn't take any of that down. There's three retarded guys huddled around a little uh, card table 
right when you walk in and they refuse to look at anyone Mm -hmm. and they're playing uh like uh, a retarded uh, version of checkers with like little chinese checkers i think it was chinese (laughs) checkers actually which was a game invented for retarded people to play (laughs) (laughs) they put pallets of uh sand in the aisles because they didn't have enough space for their pallets of like mulch and stuff so you had to walk i was like hey there's like a lot of pallets and uh and he goes oh you just you just walk over that stuff Mm-hmm. to get down the aisle so you have to climb onto a bunch of like a bag of mulch about three foot high and you walk across it to get the thing you want and then you go and then you jump down yeah what? he's just like by the way the snakes escaped out of the pet food <laughs> store so <laughs> grab a hammer on your way and just drop it off when you leave it's they, like american ninja warrior just to get like a fucking hammer yes i'm dude i i, I swear to god i'm not doing a bit they all had severe learning disabilities like they all were hit by the same car that hit Roseanne (laughs) (laughs) they all they couldn't talk they didn't know what I was trying to say they were very like mentally challenged yeah Mm -hmm. yeah yeah people and there was this one aisle where it was just uh, it was plungers that looked like a shotgun (laughs) (laughs) and there's shit laying everywhere bags of trash things on the floor mm-hmm. like it looks like a Kmart but it's just screws and like hammers and stuff and there's all these shotguns that look like plungers I'm like that's that's our that, country that's it right there yeah. that's mm-hmm. it it's three retarded guys somehow opened up you can't even get store. motivated to unclog your toilet unless you feel like you're taking somebody's <laughs> life <laughs> It, everything has to be because that's gay yeah it's, it's gay I'm not mm-hmm. just gonna get the shit out of my toilet I'm right. gonna shoot this shit you know dude it literally is somebody being like oh I used my plunger it felt like I was jacking off a guy so you, can you turn it into a gun so I don't feel like a fag <laughs> when I, I I have to push my massive non-gay shits through the pipe <laughs> they came out of my straight asshole they came out, I haven't ate a vegetable in 20 years because I associate that with t- having cum in my face because I'm insane <laughs> so my turds are like cinder blocks that are gooey <laughs> and every time i'm just trying to push them through the modern Amer- like pipes that were still built for americans it doesn't work mm. i feel gay so can you turn <laughs> can you turn my shit thing into a gun it's a big shotgun uh, yeah. dude, when i checked out i was with my father-in-law because we're we remodeled the uh, baby room to make it look like a baby room mm-hmm. and uh well my father-in-law he, he he checks us out and he goes he looks up he goes you two live together or separate <laughs> separate homes <laughs> and i i didn't know if he was like i was like are you a fucking like swinger like are you wondering if we're like are we together or something I'm, yeah and he was like no no i'm in town from from texas he's he lives here and he goes <laughs> and we go what and he goes he goes what's the password <laughs> you're like fidelio <laughs> He opens up a back door. It's yeah. a bunch of fat retards yeah. Yeah. wearing wrestling masks, just having gay sex with each other. <laughs> They're all butt fucking each other. Yeah, they're shoving the shotgun uh, plunger up their asses. Yeah. Uh, shit, dude, he kept doing this, and he's like, "Fun of me, fun of me, fun of me." Mm-hmm. And we're like, "All right," like we both laughing, like I don't know what the hell is about to happen. And we walk past this aisle that like has all these pictures of parakeets and parrots and like there's still like bags of bird seed mm-hmm. that are like tucked in the back. Well, that's their food now. <laughs> <laughs> and he leads us to this one tower. Swear to God, the whole tower was Traeger Grill barbecue sauce. <laughs> and he goes, take one each. You each get one. Whoa. He goes, he goes any pick you want, rubs or sauces. <laughs> and I was like, really? And I, they were coated and like the Jumanji dust. <laughs> what is going on at this hardware store? I, he, he just let us have one. So I he my uh, father-in-law uh, picked out a rub, and then I got a barbecue sauce, and we looked at the expiration date. They were both expired, but we were like, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you knew no turning you, back now. You knew if you refused, he'd like rip your face off like a chimpanzee. <laughs> he'd rip your face off and then throw it across the store <laughs> like a discus. It's like a condemned building. There's like nails everywhere. It mm-hmm. looked like a hurricane went through the building. I'm not being yeah. a yeah. retard about it. And they're they're just retarded at a at a full down no. table. Dude, it's like, like playing Chinese I checkers. Know. And when you ask them a question, they go, eh. <laughs> and they all turn and look at you. Yeah. Like they're huddled over the uh, something in the woods and they're eating it. When they're playing they're playing Chinese checkers and when they jump a piece, they get to eat it. <laughs> 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 
from me. <laughs> this is the barbecue I give to retarded guys like me. <laughs> retarded <laughs> gay guys like me. I think, dude, I think what it was is it used to be a Ralph's mm-hmm. that went out of business or relocated. Then it became a pet food store that went out of business. And then it became an Ace Hardware. And it's a failing business. And this guy's letting his three retarded sons mm-hmm. yeah. run it. Yeah. Or or he died because they were all old. They were all in their mid fifties, but they looked like brothers. Oh, and they yeah, were so doing the retarded thing where they wear a collared shirt that is like a crop top almost, mm-hmm. and then sweatpants with the ass out. Yeah, okay. so they, that could, type of retarded. It could guy. be their retard, their dad, balding retarded <laughs> guy. Yeah, <laughs> balding retarded guy who looks vaguely Russian mm-hmm. almost. Retarded, where you really know he's going to do a horrific thing to a child if he gets alone with it. Oh type. yeah, yeah. A retarded guy where cock is worn down to a nub. Mm-hmm. It's been sanded down. A juggernaut of raping children. <laughs> Bo Jackson. Yeah, the Bo Jackson of raping kids. He just had a he had a gift for it. <laughs> No, because I was I was gonna say, I went to an Ace Hardware store in fucking. There's um, no way it was this fucked up, was it, dude? It was kind of close. It wasn't. I mean, it wasn't three retarded pedophiles <laughs> with barbecue sauce. I mean, I don't think anything could be that fucked up. By the way, if you use that barbecue sauce, you'll get drunk. It's so old; yeah. it's like probably alcoholic. I used it point. on some wings the other day. Yeah, well, mm. that's why you've been you keep. That's why you've been jonesing. Yeah, that's why you're chasing this dragon <laughs> lately. You've been drinking retard moonshine. <laughs> I've been just doing shots of fucking sweet baby mm. rays. Like I feel great. Um, no, I went to this uh, Ace. I, well, I was trying to get a. It was. Up, I the sink we were staying at Airbnb like clogged, and so I was trying to get a plunger for a sink. Like there's ones for a sink and ones for a toilet. Mm. A roto rooter, right? No, no, no. The flat the flat plunger is for a sink. Like the classic. I didn't know that Mario Brothers plunger. That's why it's flat. The one. What for are the t- ones that look like a titty? The ones that look like a, a titty. Yeah, the ones that are shaped like they're meant to gape your asshole go in a toilet. I didn't know that. Yeah, because they they create a suction. Because I feel thing. like the other ones don't work well on toilets. The ones that look like titties. Yeah, because they're they're designed for sinks. Didn't know that. Mm-hmm. You want to know that unless you've clogged a lot of toilets in your life. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's some knowledge that's earned, brother. You gotta you gotta earn that with your hands, brother. Um, You're the David Goggins of yeah, clogged take, toilets. Every day I wake up and I load shit down the pipe. <laughs> You're David Cloggins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up at 4 a.m. and I'm pounding that toilet. I'm just, I'm throwing shit down that, brother. I just, I want to get some motherfuckers who make hard ass shit. And their shit stay hard. <laughs> David Coggins has to be the name of the episode, yeah, please. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was so I was looking for the 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 sink one, mm-hmm. and I went to a Target. I was like, "Do you guys have?" I went up to like, it made me so furious. I was at a Target, and I couldn't find the plungers, so I kept. I went up to three guys, and I go, "Hey, do you know where the plungers are? I can't find them." And it was like instead of taking me to the thing, which I know is very assholey servant attitude mm. they just go like damn that's a good question <laughs> like, 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 right, like, right. Like, literally like man if you find them let me know <laughs> and i'm like don't you have the thing on your thing like the, the phone the little palm pilot that thing. can tell you where it is he goes nah <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> that dude, that happened. That happened three times you, in a row. It's because I'm white, isn't it? Yeah, and they're like, they're like, yeah, yeah, and you kind of look retarded. <laughs> Plus, I'm not going to help you get shit out of your pipe. I'm like, no, it's for a kitchen sink. They're like, sure. I imagine this is lollipop black guy. He goes, damn, I don't know. No, and he just took out the lollipop. It was like, no, it, it, was, it was more like fat Puerto Rican kid. Oh, type. okay, got you. You got can't you. work at Target unless you're Hispanic. That's a rule. <laughs> Target is Mexico's TSA. For Old, some reason, I saw like an <laughs> eighty-five-year-old white woman working at one. But by the way, uh, I just want to say mm-hmm. nothing stresses me out more than going to a Target for the first time and not knowing its layout. Mm-hmm. It's so confusing. I'm I was out so of my overwhelmed. Element. Yeah, I was out you're of my so element. out of your. Uh, you feel completely retarded. 
Yeah, because targets. You, will, you look around for eight minutes, then you figure out there's another story. You go, oh yeah, my god. Also, yep, targets yep, will yeah, do like ahead. from like because usually you know like you walk into Walmart like okay eggs are over here, milk's over there. Yeah, but you walk into a Target and you're like, where are the eggs? And they're like, oh, we keep those with the belts. <laughs> yeah, they'll just go yeah. rogue. They for go no rogue reason. on shit. It's really weird. Yeah. So anyway, I went. I called up. I was so mad, and I called up at Ace Hardware, and I go. Do you guys have um, the plungers for uh, kitchen sinks, not toilets? And they go, I go, I don't know what you're talking about, pal. They go, what, you been shitting in your <laughs> sink? <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I go, I go, you know, there's like a flat plunger for your sink and a flat and one for your toilet. I need the one for the sink. And she's go, I don't, you just got to calm down, man. <laughs> you just got to calm down, brother. <laughs> And I got there, and it was it was literally like it was three sheds that all had Ace Hardware on the top. And I was just wa- I was trying to find somebody who even looked like they existed inside the place. Yeah, and it was just like oh, I you think- saw people. You're like, I think that's a wraith. Yeah, I think that's a a, a dead person yeah. impersonating an alive person. That's, yeah, that's a skinwalker. <laughs> yeah, it's a changeling. <laughs> that's a human with 19 deer hooves coming out of their back. That's the Slender Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy who used to rape me in my nightmares when I was a kid. So I can't help him. Yeah, but imagine just faceless people, mm-hmm. like something from a nightmare. Yeah, and you were walking through the shelves, and it was just that, like, you know, it's like they're selling seashells or something like that. Like, yeah. there's no hardware stuff. And I, I finally went to the back, and I, I found a guy. I was like, do you have plungers for your sink, not your toilet? And it was, I swear, it was a guy out of Captain Phillips. Like... A guy so African, you're like, how are how do you exist in America? <laughs> Where he like literally stood up and he had like that fucking pirate yeah. type yeah, look. Yeah. A guy who only gets around by boat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Like, you have he, to wait for the street to flood and he can get home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He goes, he goes, if we have a plunger, it would be in one of the buildings. <laughs> I was, I was like, okay, cool, uh, man. And then I finally stumbled across one, and it was like $6. And I was checking out, and uh, the, the lady checking me out, I, she still didn't know it wasn't for a toilet, it's for a sink. Yeah. And as I'm checking out, it's it's $6, mind you. I'm checking out, and she, she holds it up, and she goes, just so you know, you can't return this. <laughs> I was like, no, I I figured I wouldn't <laughs> return <laughs> a shit stained plunger. Yeah, I want to come back with a plunger covered in shit and be like, eh, it just made more shit. It didn't work. And then like the color. I know it's covered in shit now. Uh, Can you take it? And I want my six dollars back. Oh god. So I'm glad you brought that up because I thought it. I was assuming it was just that one ace, but apparently. Ace Hardwares are just like yeah, I the welfare of society. I haven't been to one. I've only had a good uh, experience at Ace, typically. I didn't know they were, you know, just any Tom, Dick, and Harry could buy one, apparently. And <laughs> I guess they're becoming, like, yeah, like, independent, you know? They're be- they're like, it's like people that, like, they think they, they buy, like, a, a vending machine, and, and they think they're, <laughs> like, an entrepreneur. <laughs> and they're like, this is going to take me to the top. Right. Yeah. Or you could call, like, the owner of Ace, and he'd be like, no, we designed it that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we wanted a hardware store for retards by retards. <laughs> Furu. None of Furu. <laughs> None, fur, of, fur, none of your fur. fancy Home Depots or Lowe's bullshit. We got nothing. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. You can get barbecue sauce and a fake shotgun. <laughs> there is a thing at like hardware stores like Home Depot and shit where like like half the people walking around Home Depot look like they'd just rather burn their home down <laughs> than fix than figure out even like what aisle they have to get the screws. I know. Like, no one at Home Depot likes any of the customers. I feel so bad having to ask where stuff is when I'm at Lowe's or Home Depot. Mm-hmm. When I see them because I, I go, hey, and they go, I know. I'm I'm so sorry, but I've been I've actually done the due diligence of walking around aimlessly for 25 minutes trying to find this screw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And by the way, they never have it. And the thing I, I need, they never have. And then I was walking around you for another 10, trying to look helpless, hoping you hoping would you, yes, yeah, would do the decent thing. Mm-hmm. And I saw you looking at me in your eye line and then turning so you couldn't see me anymore mm-hmm. over and over. Again. Also, uh, and, and hey, Home Depot, fix the fucking website because yeah. I also I look to see if you have the shit. I'm on my phone and I type in the zip code. 
and it's you say you fucking have it and oh, it's, it's not here. It's always mm-hmm. a lie. It's always a lie to get yeah. you in the store. Right. And it's and it's also like always Target drives me up, drives me nuts. Target makes me furious with that. We were talking about can't find a thing in Target. And this is the most <laughs> Jewish mom thing I've ever said in my life. But every time I've been at a Target, it's a new one. I can't find anything. I go to the app, and the app's just like, create your your fag profile with Target.com. And I'm like, just tell me what aisle the plungers are on. Yeah. And they know you have to put in your fucking your your human birth certificate mm. from birth with the, the stamp. The electronic section in Target, by the way, there's no one working at those anymore. No Post COVID, you can just take the TVs it's and the video games. Free. It's all free. Mm-hmm. It's true. legitimately all free. No, I bought it. I bought an iPad at Target the other day, and I they like like flagged some guy down, and I was like, "Can I check out in the back?" And he's like, "Sure," and he checked me out, and then I just walked. I just was holding an iPad box and I walked out the front door and I was like, any, does anybody care about this? Anybody? And they're like, dude, fuck off, dude. Like the, the checker at the door was like, dude, fuck off. <laughs> the guy checking you out was like, you could have just stole it, man. Like, fuck. Yeah. F- I was on fucking break. Like, yeah. He's like, I don't, dude, I don't, I hope I get shot here, dude. My life sucks. The empl- people get jobs at Target to then just steal from Target. Mm-hmm. I would steal from Target all the time. It's the if easiest, I there. easiest place to steal from. Yeah. Oh, it's so simple. That's why Targets never get like shot up or anything. Everybody's happy there. They're just stealing. Mm-hmm. That is, yeah, it's true. Targets don't get shot up because Americans think they're gun ranges. <laughs> <laughs> they drive past it to go to a school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like hiding in plain sight. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, they're, they're like, well, it would make too much sense to shoot this place up. <laughs> Shooting ranges never get shot up, I guess. Uh, not really I think Chris, Chris Kyle. Kyle yeah. yeah. Piss Kyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, he had it coming. Allahu Akbar, retard. <laughs> <laughs> and just like a Seinfeld episode, it all comes it, back. It, it comes back to where it started. It was like that Dave Chappelle special where he starts with a thing mm-hmm. and then it, and says the thing at the end. Yeah. People went, what? Where Beautiful he, cap. Where he starts with the thing, says one joke over 55 <laughs> minutes, and then ends with the thing that sucks. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Dave Chappelle, a magician who does one trick in his show. <laughs> <laughs> he looks cool as hell, though, doing it. Yeah, I will looks, say that. Yeah, he's, he looks, he's buff. He you know, looks like a turtle who fell out of his shell. Yeah. Do you guys have any, in closing here, do you guys have any advice in terms of like how to get ripped? Hmm, I mean, fucking, I, if I knew. I, I keep having this fantasy sometime. I've come back to it, you know, for like 18 years now. Of like becoming Kevin Spacey and uh, American uh, American Beauty. Beauty, yeah, yeah. Where I smoke a bunch of weed and just work out in the garage. I see you becoming Kevin Spacey in life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say if, if you become him in that movie, you'll get murdered by a gay yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. What sucks is I think I'm Kevin Spacey in American Beauty, but I'm actually Chris Cooper in American Beauty. Mm-hmm. I'm a guy with a bunch of Nazi plates, and I'm gay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole character, right? In that movie. Yeah. He's a gay guy who has Nazi memory. And he made his wife completely catatonic mm-hmm. to the like the only thing she like the only time she feels is baking bacon in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Just sticking her fingers in the grease. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking De Niro and Taxi Driver. Well, yeah. patreon.com slash lemon party. Uh, lemon party uh, clips channel is where we do the live streams every uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So follow us there. We, there's, it's not the podcast. It's a fuck around thing we do where we hang out. And then we put them behind the paywall on uh, Patreon after 24 hours. Uh, Devin is at Hey Watch Pod. Jace is at Sad Drawings by Jace. Allahu Akbar, retards. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>